So if we take a look at the, um, where the survival has uh, improved for patients with metastatic HER2 positive breast cancer, about a decade ago in 1998 when the Slayman publication came out, their survival was around 20 months with chemo alone and was about 25 months with chemo plus trastuzumab. Now, uh, with the integration of pertuzumab with multiple lines of anti-HER2 therapy, the Cleopatra study suggests that these patients who are getting first-line treatment with pertuzumab, trastuzumab, chemo, and other lines of anti-HER2 therapy, their survival is now exceeding 45 months. And many of those patients did not receive TDM1. So now if you have patients in the first line receiving pertuzumab, second line receiving TDM1, third, fourth line receiving subsequent lines of anti therapy, either with trastuzumab or lapatinib, uh, I think the overall survival for many of our patients with metastatic breast cancer is now exceeding five years. So the big challenge that still remains is some of our patients are at risk of getting brain meds, and that may influence uh, what we can do and it may influence their survival. So we do need to develop better therapies that can target brain meds, and I think that will be the next frontier for HER2 positive metastatic breast cancer is how do we target brain meds more effectively and understanding how tumors become resistant to these total targeted therapies.